Hey guys, welcome back. It's time to take a look at that. Uh, it's been making the rounds. The Charizard that is not really a 10. They got graded as a 10 by PSA. And yes, PSA did mess up. We've seen this before. We've seen this uh, many times before where maybe a card before or after this card was supposed to be the 10 and this one got the 10 or they just hit the wrong button. It's going to happen. You have a barely above McDonald's wage people that are working at this place. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with starting out there. But just know it's not if this is like a bulk submission thing, if you're sending in bulk submissions, you're not getting the cream of the crop super Pokemon expert, even though they like to call them Pokemon experts or card experts or condition experts, whatever they are. They're grading this stuff very quickly. They're not actually experts. If they were experts, they would want more money for their expertise than they get. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, um, we got to, we got a little bit of uh, OK, I like. I've made many videos where grading companies screw up. This is not that. This is a whole different thing because we got the person that owns the card who is kind of is caught online with their pants down trying to uh, commit a little bit of fraud. I think it's fraud. I don't know what kind of fraud. It's not really a return. Is it return fraud? It's some kind of fraud. It's fraudulent. Let's take a look at the a video by Pokesign here. Uh, this covers what it is. PSA just graded this Crystal Guardian Charizard as a Jet Mint 10, and you won't believe this. But look at that back. There is whitening all over the edges and corners with a huge crease to the right lower back. What's going on, PSA? P so that's an oopsie doopsie. That's an oopsie doopsie on PSA's part. And for anyone that knows, PSA does have a guarantee, a condition guarantee. Uh, essentially, they will fix, they're going to fix this for the person that submit this. But when somebody buys something, let's say it's counterfeit, let's say that PSA grades a counterfeit card, let's say they grade something that has a fake stamp on it. If there's a receipt and you paid for it and you bought it from someone else under the impression that it was a legitimate copy and it wasn't, de sometimes they'll deactivate it. Spoiler alert, that's what's going to happen here. But <laughs> if you buy it from someone, and it doesn't turn out to be what it is, what it says, what it what it's supposed to be. And they're going to fight you on it. If it's like if it's a 10 and it probably should have been a nine, they're pro they're going to be like, oh, the head grader. He said it is it's, it is definitely as graded as what it was. If there's any sort of like in between there, you're probably not getting any money for that. But something like this, I don't know how you would even pretend that you purchased this under the impression that it was a 10. I, I don't think I don't think it's going anywhere. But again, at the same time. Maybe, maybe the the PSA guarantee would be less of a headache. It would be less of a fighting with them like it is an insurance company if people weren't trying to exploit it. And that's what we have going on here. So here it is. Here's the card. Here's what it looked like beforehand on the old PSA cert registration. You always want to look this up regardless. Uh, it's a shame that a lot of the older stuff it does not have cataloged photos. But if you were buying this, and you get fooled by the fact that this is damaged as hell. Maybe they use stock images, they blur out the certs, and they send you a 10, and it's not really a 10. I can't imagine anyone's going to try and pass this off. She gone. She's deactivated. And people are going to be like, what the hell? PSA, this is some kind of crazy conspiracy. What is going on? Why is it a Pete Rose card? No, that is another just area that PSA fucked up. They messed up. For some reason, the PSA DNA, so like the certification of autographs, versus the certification of trading cards, um, the the numbers clashed, the numbers overlapped. So this is one of those instances where something has two different cert numbers. We've seen this in the past. It confuses the hell out of people. I don't know how they didn't anticipate that this was going to happen and confuse everyone and, and cause like issues. The, all they had to do was just change up the cert pattern so that they didn't, they didn't overlap or have different cert numbers so that they can never overlap. I don't, I don't know why they didn't preemptively avoid this. I don't know if they, maybe, maybe, maybe they're avoiding this now. But if you ever see, you look up a certain number and you see like, oh, what the hell? It's making me choose one of two things. Or it's showing me like, it's showing me something that's a, an autograph rather than the card that I'm looking up. It's probably because they, they messed up. They got overlapping numbers. So when you look up the cert, you end up with both or you end up with the other one. It's, it's, an, it's a, a total mess completely avoidable don't know what they were thinking pretty dumb on their part now here's where we get into the um this is greasy 
I'm not saying that the the grading companies have never done anything greasy in their lives. I'm not saying in, in their in their company spans, but trying to um, trick them into paying out on a PSA 10 on this item probably not going to go well. It doesn't sound like there was any upcharges, so there's not that. They're going to refund you the, the 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 price of grading. They're going to have you send it back in and fix it. Maybe if you ask them nicely, they're going to want this back because it looks it looks terrible. It looks terrible on their part. So maybe you can say like, "Hey, this is a pretty big inconvenience. Can you send me some free grading? Can you can you reimburse my order? Something like that." You can probably get away with that and while being honest at the same time. So we got a Reddit thread here, and uh, this gets sent to Pokesun. We'll get into those DMs here in a second. But we have uh, we have a little bit of a... Now, guys, if you're going to commit fraud, don't, don't post it on a public forum. Like, please. This is, a, this is a good way to get banned. Hopefully, you don't want to keep submitting things to PSA, because I'd be very surprised if this individual doesn't get banned from PSA for trying to... This is... This is probably on par with like sending them stuff that is counterfeit to test to see if you can get it through. It's right up there. You're gonna piss them off. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain this. Like, so we have we have the post here. He's like, look at this error PSA ten. Hey, look how janky it is. And he's got the thing that the certain numbers blocked out. Like it's gonna do anything. Like people aren't gonna be able to find it. And uh, someone says, if you contact PSA, they will pay you out on the value of a 10 for its return. Oh, all right. So, uh, Wasgood says, seriously, have you had this happen before? So, these are just two other people, not the owner of the card. Gem Collector 91 says, yes, sell it to a friend for market. Sell it. Sell it. Fraudulently sell it to a friend for market. Have this party contact PSA and demand a payout for the difference in value between the actual grade and the grade displayed. PSA will require you to send the card back to be re-slabbed to the correct grade and pay you out the difference in price. So I don't know because it's not it's not insurance fraud because it's not it's not is it technically insurance? I don't know. It's it's weird. I don't know. Is, does anyone know the different frauds? Can you tell us what kind of fraud this is? I believe there needs to be a sale between two people before they honor this. It is their grading standard guarantee. There does need to be a sale, but the problem is it needs to be a legitimate sale. Op, do not sell for anything less than a 10 price. So, Retro003, the owner of the card, says, Wow, I'm going to do some more research on this. Thanks for the info. So, uh, what, what do you mean more research on this? So, you're, you've, been, you've just been enticed. Uh, you've just been swindled by Gem Collector 91 into uh, fraudulently claiming that you sold this to someone so that you can get a payout on it. All right, so yes, Pokesan, and I'm sure some of the other people that were posting about this item got some messages and said, "Hey, can you be quiet? I'm trying to commit fraud here, guys. Can you can you please take your posts down?" Um, so, <laughs> so this is the conversation. Uh, they send the the little little form here, the little the little the little forum forum conversation about how they want to they want to do research. It's not research. You're trying. You're trying to steal money. Pokesan asks, "Did they upcharge you for the ten premium?" It was quite a strange scenario, to be honest. I don't want to answer too many questions without having the post deleted, though. I've seen that someone of a similar case had their cert disabled from receiving a lot of press on it. So I'm trying to avoid that so I can test my theory on it. I can't confirm it's real, though. I have it in hand. Yeah, great. <laughs> Test your theory. I, I want to see if I can scam. P I want to see if I can scam PSA and do uh, paying out on an item that th th they they want back. Okay, can you show me that you truly have the card with a timestamp? I do believe you, but this also this also the first time we are having a conversation. So we have a video. Um, this is the video, the uh, the proof video here, uh, where we got the old and uh, Charizard, the uh, beat to hell Charizard. Um, this is not a golden Willy Wonka ticket. This is uh, this is a mistake by PSA. This is not like a, a lottery ticket. You didn't win the lottery. It's a mess. It's a disaster. PSA is going to want it back. They will probably will. I don't know if they will at this point in time, but they probably would have, you know, refunded the submission. 
they probably would have given you some free grading. If you if you push for something like that, if they mess up your order, customer service usually can do something for you, especially if it's something like free grading because it doesn't technically cost them the same as like a, a full refund or paying out on a 10. Do you have Reddit? She says, no. So, okay, you want to test the theory of whether or not PSA will reimburse the card at a PSA 10 value once you sell it to a friend. If that theory works, then I cover the story. And he says, yes, that's the plan. You can still cover the story after it if it doesn't work as planned. I just want to stay out of mass media site beforehand. Yeah, I mean, if you were if you were stealing from anyone else, too, you would probably want the same thing. This is what it is. It's stealing. I am not the only one posting about it. This, I believe. How are you going to make sure everyone keeps quiet? So they won't. Not everyone's going to keep quiet. It's blown. You posted it publicly on a forum. Uh, and then you were trying to cover up your trails. It's already gone. It's already it's already been deactivated. So that plan is out the window. Uh, you'll be lucky if you don't end up just like straight up getting banned from PSA for trying the entire thing. Um, now, I'm not going to be upset with PSA. I don't think anyone should be upset with PSA over this. Like, they, 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 they're going to make mistakes. They probably would have compensated this individual, not for a PSA 10 value. They're not going to pay the dude four grand or whatever the hell it is for the sake of, you know, them making a mistake, someone hitting a one zero instead of a, I don't know if they have like separate buttons for it or if they like type it in, but they messed up. Again, it's 30 seconds. Some employee, 30 seconds out of their shift that they don't give a fuck. Now, if we do want to be upset about PSA, we can be upset about this. And this is a little throwback to the video series. If you haven't seen them, we got the uh, the old Ultimate Poke Flute and his best buddy, Rob Divin. Uh, and he's been popping up around recently. Remember, they were like, oh, we're not, it's for personal collection only. It's this and that. And they had like 16 different excuses or reasonings. Then at some point they were like, oh yeah, we are. We're, we're totally, we're not doing anything wrong. It's how we want it. People want it wiped and we're totally upfront about it. Um, they're not totally upfront about it. We got these slime, slime dickers. They are sliming their dicks off right now. Um, so if you don't know the story, we'll give a quick recap. I will have the, uh, the ultimate polka flute playlist down below in the, the description down near the top of the description. But we have Rob here. Um, we have Rob who pretended to be friends with Kamiya, essentially. Uh, Kamiya was in poor health. Kamiya agreed to sign some stuff for, for him and said, please don't sell. That's what he says. He always says, please don't sell the signatures. These signatures were personalized to Rob. They used to say to Rob on here. They were altered to remove that text graded by PSA. And now these slime babies are selling this shit. And you know, at one point they're like, oh no, we're not really selling it. We, we would never do that. That's uh, it's personal collection. And I only wanted to sell this one because I messed it up. No, they're selling this shit because they're slime babies. Congratulations. You deserve every laughing emoji that is ever placed on this shit. Make sure you guys are to either share the video or share the information down below in the comments when these people are trying to sell this shit, because this is disrespectful. It's disrespectful to the artist who provided this at no charge, and now he's putting 18 k or best offer on this shit that's altered. And if we want to shame PSA, and we're not shaming PSA for deactivating a cert, we're shaming PSA today for not deactivating these certs. So these ones here, this Gem Mint 10 Auto 10, um, that it still shows, Gem Mint 10 Auto 10 on their website. The ones that are just authentic auto, those ones there say that they're altered. Authentic altered. Or some stupid shit like that. These should be deactivated altogether. This is disrespectful to the artist. This is disrespectful to anyone that's buying PSA slabs. It's it's a it's a disgrace. They had every chance in the world and still haven't deactivated this shit. Someone's gonna end up buying this for a ton of money. I don't know if they're gonna spend 18k or not. They're gonna buy it for a ton of money under the impression that there's nothing wrong with this and it's a tainted card. The artist doesn't want this to exist. The artist got fucked over. And now someone's going to buy this shit. I would be so upset if I bought something knowing that like the entire backstory on it was a fucking slime ball who fucked an artist over that. Like, why the fuck would you ever want to own this? Like, this is, this is ruined value zero, less than zero. I would like, no one should want this thing. So we got him. He's posting everywhere. He's got to make some money. You gotta, you gotta, maybe he's got to buy some product to keep those 
those curly, curly whirlies going on his head. Says, I'm looking to see what trade offers are out there. 18K or best offer value. PSA 10, 10 Tomokazu, signed the first edition celibate. Extremely rare considering he doesn't do public signings. Yeah, I wonder why. So, here it is. We got the uh, before and after. So, yeah, just uh, just post some posts. Go into my, one of my videos. Either link the video underneath anything that you post like this. Or go and take a screenshot and show the before and after of how it's altered. This is embarrassing. Good job to anyone that's calling this shit out anytime he's trying to sell this shit. It's it's not, not acceptable. Not acceptable whatsoever. Check those videos out. Share them. Make sure everyone knows when these guys are posting. Whether it's Ultimate Poke Flute Brandon or whether it's his best buddy, Rob Divin. Make sure you, you let people know what the origin is. They're claiming that they're 100% transparent about it, but you can see in all the posts. You can see in the eBay listings. You can see in everything. Um, even the, Oh my god, this fucking idiot decided he was going to talk to me in Charlotte in, in person. Uh, he ended up talking to his phone most of the time. He made no sense. It was pointless. But if you'd like to see an idiot in action, in real life then uh then, <laughs> then check that one out guys take care of each other out there don't uh, no and uh, this is this i think the the whole like the ripping psa off thing is the same as like a shoplifting from walmart thing it don't shoplift don't fucking steal don't st it doesn't matter if it's the biggest company it doesn't matter if it's your little sister don't fucking steal fuck off motherfucking thieves god damn it and don't don't fuck people over either have a good one Join the Discord. See you next time.